everyone, welcome to the key fashion trends to know for this fall 2023. I selected the most significant fashion trends and those that I think will have the biggest impact. It's a curated trend board with what to wear and how to style this autumn. Plus, I will be recreating all these trends to show you how I will making these trends work for my everyday style. So, you don't want to miss this video, as I've got lots of outfit ideas for you. Even if you have a classic, timeless style, incorporating one or two fashion trends in your everyday outfits is a way to look updated, modern and even younger. Everything featured in today's video is linked in the description box below. So all you need to do is grab a cup of coffee or tea, relax and feel inspired. Just to give you a general look on what's going on on the fashion industry, designers left the gimmicks aside and wanted to reconnect with reality, with everyday people living everyday life. So instead of loud clothes, this season we're seeing hushed collections that were complemented on the runways with uh, subtle gestures, real life gestures, like clutching lapels, phone grasped in both hands, hands inside pockets. In short, actions that spoke louder than fashion choices. So remember, this season's biggest look, paired back, everyday clothes, executed in best-in-class fabrics, that is the same of quiet luxury or logo-less luxury. Quiet luxury that used to be a micro-trend is now becoming a macro trend. And just to clarify, in case you don't know, a micro trend is usually associated to one season, while a macro trend is one that is constant across many different seasons. In fact, they speak class and sophistication. Everything is carefully thought. Colors are very often neutral or quite muted. You won't see anything neon or too bright, except for some use like red, that is a bold color, but also a classic color. Quiet luxury is timeless, not trendy, color-wise as well, seen on most of the runway shows from The Row, Hermes, Miu Miu, Bottega, Bottega Veneta, Salvatore Ferragamo, Victoria Beckham, Brunello Cucinello, just to name a few. It's all about elevated basics, immaculate tailoring, a, a really refined beauty to all those little details. It shouts class and sophistication. So, if you're aiming for a timeless classic wardrobe, this is your season. Quiet luxury will be a dominant trend and there will be plenty of options in stores at all price points, which make it an amazing time to build your timeless capsule wardrobe. Now that you know that designers have turned towards understatement with an emphasis on the finer points of quality and design, I'm going to be talking about specific trending and points. So I am going to start with bottoms. And within this category, I'm going to start talking about skirts. What skirts will everyone be wearing? Is it a mini skirt, maxi or midi? Straight or circle? From what I concluded after binge watching all the runway shows, there are two major new trends. The first one being knee length skirts. The so called pencil skirt, as seen in Versace, with Gigi Hadid wearing a black skirt suite, but also in Saint Laurent with a pin striped knee length skirt. Hermes showed us knitted skirts with front slits, and Bottega Veneta opted for this leather pencil skirt, just to name a few. So think about adding a pencil skirt suite to your workwear capsule wardrobe. Maybe you already have one or two that are stored in the attic. So grab them. Now for the midi and maxi lens, the most seen combination was this circle midi or long skirts, a la 50s, paired with, pay attention now, plain sweaters and as seen on Prada, on Carolina Herrera, or with button downs featured in Christian Dior, something that gives some contrast between dressy and casual. The mix 
of casual and formal will allow you to wear every piece in your wardrobe on repeat. So stop leaving aside those elevated pieces that were only for special occasions. Try to style them with more casual, relaxed pieces for everyday wear. As for the short M line, we've seen mini skirts paired with voluminous tops. For a casual look, pair a mini skirt with a sweatshirt or a hoodie. And for a more formal look, opt for a jacket or a longer coat. All these were paired with knee high boots, Mary Janes, ballerinas, or even sneakers. Now we're going to talk about trousers. Tailored trousers are here from a long time, but this season we're going to see them in a more sharp tailoring. That is, they are a little bit looser, yes, but not too voluminous. Just tailored, sophisticated trousers. There will be either wide leg trousers, but also tapered trousers. Usually all combined with the matching blazer to do a sweet, as office wear is one of the season's trend. I think it looks so good, not only for the office. This is a trend that I really love. It's instantly put together. As for the blazers, we're seeing details like large lapels, padded shoulders, really bold colors that make them feel fresh for 2023. Also, this year, we watched the resurgence of the three-piece suite with the vest. You can wear the vest without the blazer and it still looks put together. One of the most popular sets is denim on denim. And I think the key to making this look really good is to have a similar denim wash. So, in the jeans category, we are talking about elevated denim. We are not seeing anymore these ripped jeans or skinny jeans. Jeans are now a connection piece between casual wear and office wear. And you can wear them either on a Saturday morning, but also to a business meeting or even to a fancy evening event styled with a special top and a pair of heels. So, you should opt for a straight leg pair of jeans that are classic, timeless, and usually more flattering for all body shapes. Another way to do a set, even with pieces that weren't bought together, is choosing a tonal outfit. These look so modern and chic. And really, it's just a matter of choosing the right pieces in your wardrobe to build a tonal look. Also, monochromatic is huge every, in every runway show. Now, tops. Here, we're seeing a return to the classics. These are elevated basics that signify quiet luxury. So, first off, we have the classic white button-down. Whether dressed for daytime business, or for an evening event, paired with, with a voluminous circle skirt. Secondly, we have the silk button down in a classic fall shape. Basically, all necklines were seen, but the one that I saw the most was the off-shoulder neckline, also called Bardot neckline, that came back from the 2010s. Also, puff sleeves and strong shoulders that just bring more volume to the top. Some more ladylike details include peplum tops, draped fabrics, bows, floral fabrics, large floral embellishments, and also brooches. For this trend, you can just buy a flower or a brooch and add it to a top and it sort of modernizes your look. Dresses. Don't pack yet your favorite summer maxi dress. Instead, make the most of this slinky warm weather staple by layering over longer sleeved layers. Create a monochromatic moment a la anteprima or boost the contrast with a sheer printed top in the style of Chanel and Missoni. Button shirts have always been a wardrobe binder, but this season they're having a spotlight moment as much as they've become dresses. Take them long and lean, like the gown-like styles sweeping the floor at Valentino, Loewe or Simone Rochat, 
or wear it shorter like Louis Vuitton. Blazer dresses also played a role in these season runways as seen in GCDS. Sweater dresses come in and out of style, but intricate cable knit and curve hugging rib styles spotted on this season's runways just might become classics. Designers like Isabel Marin, Max Mara and Todd's didn't just use a muted, dreamy color palette, they also delivered sweater dresses in elevated silhouettes. Outerwear. When it comes to outerwear, we saw lots of jackets, from the aviator leather jacket to the tweed Chanel cropped jacket. Also, capes are back, and it's an easy style to throw over any sweater. These capes can be recreated with big scarves or blankets, that drape over our tops and that can be belted or secured with a brush. Also, the classic blazer, but like I've just said, now we're seeing it in every color, texture and pattern and with oversized shoulders. We are also seeing a more tailored blazer with big shoulders and cinched waist. French coats in all colors and fabrics are also huge, from the classic camel trench to a leather trench, there are a lot of options and you can go from classic to a really fun vibe. But the statement outerwear piece this season is, without any doubt, the black long coat. From tailored coats at Kite, Gucci and Erdem, to leather coats at Gabriella, Hearst and Ferragamo. From knitted long coats at Hermes, to really statement coats at Chloe, Altuzara and Stella McCartney. We saw opulent coats on one side and quiet paired back versions on the other. All are worthy of our attention. So a black long wool coat is a key buy to head to your shopping list for the season ahead. Colors. What are the main colors for this autumn? Ask any designer and they are unanimous. There's no doubt that the classic red, in all its hues and shades, is the color of this autumn winter. From cherry red, magenta, burgundy to pink, the choices are endless. Now, if you want to hop on board this trend, I suggest that you choose a red that really complements your skin undertone and your wardrobe as well. Starting, for instance, with a pair of a red ballet flats. This is the easiest way to make a statement this season. Grey comes just next, as there are many head-to-toe grey outfits. Brown in all its shades, from cream, beige, coffee, caramel, cappuccino, chocolate brown, you name it. Brown looks so sumptuous and sophisticated. And remember, there are cool browns and warm browns, a shade for everyone. Also, brown is a nude color for lots of beautiful women. In the blue family, I saw lots of royal blue, glacial blue and also turquoise. Greens are still going strong, especially sea green, khakis and kelly green, also called Bottega green by the fashion world. Yellows that are trending include chartreuse, canary yellow and buttery shades. These buttery shades did catch my eye and they're more subtle. Orange, more specifically pumpkin spice or saffron, is the color to go if you're warm skin undertone or if you just love orange. During spring summer, we saw a lot of gold, but now silver will overtake gold. I'm looking for a pair of silver ballerinas and these ones from Madewell or these ones from Tory Burch are simply gorgeous. To conclude the color palette, head to toe black was present in a lot of catwalks and also lots of black and white outfits. Also, as I already told you, monochromatic looks reigned supreme, even head to toe bold red. Now, accessories and compliments. No need to fear the cold next fall. Blankets, scarves, and shrugs were thrown over everything, from snappy tailoring to evening gowns, 
take things in a tonal direction or invest in a cheeky brush. As you see, there's a lot of tartan or plaid scarves. These could also be used as capes, as I just showed you, but also as a top. Just roll it over any top or button shirt and tie it in a bow or secure it with a fancy pin. Okay, do you like ties? Because if you do, this is the time to wear them, together with your button white shirts. When it comes to handbags, the baguette bag from the 90s was the most seen style on the runways. But now, with a quilted leather and also in updated colors. It's also the comeback of the mid-size handbags. Designers are understanding that most women want a handbag that works for their daily lifestyle and not a tiny or a giant bag. When it comes to footwear, the trending shoes right now are ballet flats that were updated in, in bold colors like red or metallic silver or gold. Mary Janes are also having a comeback thanks to the resurgence of bookish, chic and Parisian style. And for the norm corn aesthetic, a pair of sneakers is definitely the option. And if you like to embrace the following trend, furry shoes will be everywhere. When it comes to boots, we're seeing a lot of different trends. The one that I'm surprised that has lasted has been the cowboy style boot. It's stuck around for a while and it's still on the runways, but now we see it in these bold colors like red and metallic colors. The flat leather classics riding boot is still on trend. It's just a beautiful classic equestrian style. And let us not forget the evergreen knee-high boot that I personally love to wear with skirts, shorts and also dresses. They are incredibly elegant. Another popular style for those of you more daring is the fig high boot. And now we're seeing them in an elastic leather as they're quite almost a pair of tights. This can be also a great styling piece. The most important thing to consider is that the heel height has considerably diminished. We are seeing mid heels, kitten heels and flats. The Huber high heel is no longer on trend. Hooray! Thank you, designers. And I think most of you will agree with me. A really easy way to update your outfits is with accessories. Trending right now are big buckle belts, belts with a lot of different looks. We've seen thin belts on tops of suits and coats, large belts on top of sweaters, blazers and coats. In short, you can belt anything as the hourglass silhouette had been building momentum all season and is now cemented after Gigi Hadid strutted out in a black Versace skirt suit with its waist molded to mimic Sophia Lawrence proportions. So, the point of this whole video is to find things that you can experiment and incorporate into your personal style. Fashion trends are a great opportunity to play around and have fun with your clothes and, at the same time, a way to update your wardrobe and feel more modern. I hope you've enjoyed the outfits idea that I presented you today and that they can inspire you to do a wardrobe refresh for the season ahead. And so you made it to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. I will always answer your questions. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.